bells is out. Firewall, which I have to say had a great pedigree, and I went in. It's always the case now that you go in with your expectations, and whatever you expect, the opposite turns out to be true. So, you know, edgy thriller with a sort of up-to-the-minute plot um, stars uh, Paul Bettany, well, co-stars Paul Bettany, Harrison Ford and Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany is a computer bank robber whose uh, accomplices take hostage Harrison's for Harrison Ford's family and get him to hack into the computers of his bank. Now you remember fairly recently there was a, actually a really really horrible real news story about something similar happening it happened just before this movie was press screened. So it's a timely subject. It's Paul Bettany who we love. It's Richard Long Crane who directed Richard the Third, which is great, and of course Slade in Flame. And it sees the return to form of Virginia Madsen, who since Sideways has you know has really you know her career has had a real resurgence. Unfortunately, although it starts out as a kind of high tech internet hackery type thriller it does the thing that all these mainstream american movies do which is that it ends up with the people hitting each other with bits of furniture there are about 17 different places in which you think actually what would happen now is that the hostage takers would just resort to the horrible ultimate sanction and that would be the end of the story but it keeps not happening because the story has to keep going i think paul bettany is a great actor i think he's a great screen presence he's obviously very good at playing uh, bad guys if anyone saw him in gangster number no. one the british movie it, you know you'd know just how edgy and how dangerous he can be virginia madsen too is fine but in the end the problem with firewall is that it ends up being yet another the slightly limp Harrison Ford vehicle. Harrison Ford is kind of... It's not that he's too old to do this anymore. It's like he's a bit world-weary. It's like he's as fed up with it as the rest of us. And I was disappointed because I think that Richard Longcrate is a very, very good, stylish director who has in the past done great work. This isn't it. And it's, I'm disappointed to have to say that it's a Paul Bettany film that didn't give me a, a free song. Is that the first? It, yeah, it probably is. I mean, even when he was doing the Lars von Trier film, I, which I rather liked. I mean, I just think he's a he's a very charismatic screen presence. And in this, all the good stuff is him, and all the bad stuff is Harrison Ford romping. And it ends it, it ends up, as I said, with people just simply punching each other. Which you just think, you know, what what happens at the script meeting when they go, you know, how are we going to end this? Oh, let's just have them hit each other. All right, then that'll do fine. <laughs> 